Hello, hello everyone. I am just working through our fun little folio project. And um, I had one more that I for sure wanted to kind of show you how I'm doing it. So this is um, a hidden belly band. This comes in the kit, but you can always just make it. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to have a piece of paper. I can give you the measurements. Where's my little ruler? Here we go. Um, so this paper is six and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches. And then I folded it into thirds with the pretty side out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this down and we're gonna keep all of these pockets available so that we can tuck stuff in there and behind our belly band. So first step we're gonna do is we need to glue these top ends shut. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a strip of glue here, maybe. All right, there we go. A strip of glue here and here. And so doing that, we've now closed that, but we've left this pocket here open. And we're gonna do that also to this pocket here. So the kit is the February subscription kit. Um, I've made one of these a few years ago, but I thought I'd make another video just in case you weren't familiar with how they're made, but they're really easy and really fun. All right, so now we have a hidden pocket here on this side, and we have another hidden pocket right here on this side. Okay, so now this is our belly band. So we're gonna put that into our journal. And again, we wanna be able to tuck things behind it. So we're just gonna put a good amount on the top and the bottom. You could also sew this into place. Um, it's up to you. And this happens to fit this journal. If you need it to be shorter, cause your journal's shorter, then just trim it down. It's not a big deal. All right, so now we have our cute belly band. We can have a cute, just folded up paper or a tag that can go clear behind it. But what we're gonna put in those hidden little pockets are these four tiny envelopes. So these are all in the kit. You make these with just a square of paper. I saved one to make so you could see. This is an, a perfect square. And then I just folded in these two sides so that they're barely overlapping. And I didn't mark it or anything. I just eyeballed it the best I could. But you'll notice here when I folded this up, it does come just a hair past that point of that triangle. So you're gonna fold it up so it's going past it. Cause you want this to come up here like a cute little envelope. I went ahead and used, used a corner rounder here um, totally up to you. So I've glued the others all together so you don't have to watch, but I will glue this one together here. You don't want to go up on the top of that because that's the part that's going to be, um, sticking up here and I don't want to glue my envelope shut, but that will hold the envelope in place. And I did print these envelopes on just regular lightweight paper as well as the actual belly band. But these little cards, I printed on cardstock. These are just journaling cards to go in your envelopes and they're meant to fit exactly. And I used the corner rounder. I didn't print them that way because it's a pain to cut them, um, but it's easy if you have a corner rounder and you can choose either way if you leave them pointy. All right, so I have these four little envelopes and I'm going to put these in our hidden journal pockets, but I wanted to have something fun on the front of each one. So I just have these tiny bits. These are from, oh, a tiny, I can't remember, tiny label kit. Anyway, they, they are just handy. 
They are just one of those things that you just use all the time. So I'm gonna glue one of those to the front of every envelope on the side that you're gonna see it. Um, so these two envelopes are going on this side and I wanna be able to see that cute tiny bit. So I glued the bits on this side so that they'll stick out. And then on this one, I want them to stick out, so I've glued them on this side. And you can do them directly across from each other, so it's kind of this optical illusion when you pull them out. Um, or you can stagger them, whatever you like. And then this is the last one. And that goes into that little pocket here. All right, oh, I switched places on those. Those are supposed to be like that because I didn't want those similar ones across from each other. Okay, so now we have these fun hidden envelopes. It's kind of this fun optical illusion because you're like, wait, where did that come from? Anyway, it's kind of cool. So I hope you will enjoy that. Um, I wanted a little more just in the center here. So I just have this fussy cut from the kit. I've mounted it because it ended up being printed on a lightweight paper. So I went ahead and mounted that on um, some craft card stock just to give it a little more because I want it to hang over the edges here. So I'm gonna want a little more thickness to that because paper won't hold up. And then I just have this cute little word label that's also in the same February subscription kit. And I think I'll just put it right here. You could add lace or something else, but there's so much going on with those envelopes that I feel like you really don't need to add any more. Um, but that is how easy it is. And then I could take, say, a little scrap or whatever and stick it clear behind so then you have your belly band effect also so it's just this really fun piece with that hidden belly band with those envelopes that come out of there I love it um so it's that easy super easy project super fun I hope you love it and I hope you give it a try um I'll put the links down below if you want them. If not, um, you can definitely just do this with whatever supplies you have. I always try to do that because um, some people wanna just use up their current stash and that's totally okay. I wanna have projects that will work for both. So anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you later, bye.